Hello and welcome to my channel. Um, I am going to talk to you about setups, uh, how to get the best for yourself. Um, first, I'm going to play the game because I Deathmatch. did try and record and talk at the same time, which didn't quite work. So um, I'm going to play one game. As soon as the match is finished, I'll come back and explain to you my setup, uh, how I, what I believe is best setup, and then you can take it from there. died then. I don't care what anyone says man. Two bursts. Care package inbound. UAV inbound. UAV priority request received. Rerouting. Got four hit markers. Wraith inbound. Friendly Hellstorm inbound. Counter UAV on standby. Friendly HCXD deployed. Hostile UAV incoming. Hater, awaiting orders. 
Hostile care package overhead. Win for the Accord, RTP. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, now I'm going to explain about getting the best setup for you. Um, I do love those two kills with the Rocky Launcher. That was sick. Um, I'd expect that. I've forgot. I've, I've run out of ammo. Um, right. Well, basically, uh, first thing first is monitor. Oh, not monitor TV or monitor me I play on a monitor uh, because there's no delay between the screen and when I push the button where the HD TV has a slight delay it's not as bad now as if your TV has a built-in um, game mode option there's lots of options now on the modern TVs so it's not as bad but most important thing other than anything else is size is definitely size the smaller the TV the better I mean, it sounds weird, you know, everyone says, oh, look at the size of my TV, I've got a 50 inch TV, and, but when you're playing games, believe me, the size of the TV does matter, the smaller the TV, the better it is, uh, score per minute, it's not all that great, uh, KD the past five games, not too bad, I suppose, 4, 3.4, 2.45, 2.50, .4, my global KD is 1.95, um, it's starting to come up now uh, last week it was 1.8 um, it's gonna take a while but it will come up to where it should be uh, score per minute 275 not too bad I suppose uh, medals what did I get I got ruthless merciless bloodthirsty the only thing is it's difficult to get anything higher than a ruthless when you're playing on uh, team deathmatch and game modes like that because it's over so quick you know I mean how many kills did I get I got 20 kills and one death uh, let me back out of here so I can speak to you more yes as I was saying sorry for going off topic um, most important thing is monitor like the screen size you know I don't I don't use any of those control freaks or whatever everyone else seems to be using my controller is just a basic controller a uh, small TV I prefer wired I've not noticed much difference plugging it with the Ethernet cable or plugging it wireless um, but there's less when it's wired it's direct from your your router to your PlayStation and there's no interference outside interference with you know signals because it is literally a signal you're you're picking up from your PlayStation and you're picking up from your router so there's no, no distractions with any other signals. So it'd be straight uh, through Ethernet cable, which is what I prefer. Uh, second thing is if you probably noticed on that last match, I did not go into the middle. I never, ever, ever go into the middle. Reason being is because there's way too many places you can get shot from. You know, if you go around the edges of the map, you can either get shot in front of you or behind of you. That's literally all the, that's the only places you can die. Whereas if you go in the middle, you can get shot from behind you, to your left of you, to your right of you, in front of you, you know, everywhere. I mean, if, if you go into theater mode, freeze the game, go into the, the middle bit and then take a look. Look at every single area where you can get shot from. There's two, two in front, two in back, two in left, 
two right. Someone can jump, go, run along the wall now, and then jump down into the middle and then get you there. It is literally, if, if you want to get a high KD, you know, don't go in the middle. Just run wings. I mean, fair enough. I only got 20 kills. It's not great. Um, I never, I didn't really find people. Sometimes I'll only get 15 kills because it's, it's quite difficult to find people sometimes when you're running around the outsides of the map because everyone seems to rush into the middle, which I get that's where the action is, but you know, you'll end up getting killed more often than you'll get kills. You know, even the best players don't go running into the middle. You know, if you ask any of the players there, you know, they will go rings. I mean, they don't, they won't tell you, but if you watch all their gameplay, they'll run rings around the map, unless you're Ali A and you hide in a corner. It, it, it'll, it'll patrol, he doesn't call it camping, he patrols an area, which is basically the tiniest section on a map. You know, I'll run the entire map, I don't care, you know. Um, but yeah, most importantly is your screen size, try and make it as small as possible, and your internet, just, just make sure it's wired. Um, hopefully you have decent meg um, upload. I think upload is supposed to be more important than download, um, which is why I had to upgrade to fiber optic because my uploads was one meg um, compared to 20 meg down. So I had to upgrade to fiber optic and now my uploads is 10 meg and my downloads is like 27 meg with, so it's not too bad now, um, which is a lot better. Um, and that's, that's it really, just, and then just practice with sensitivity as well. Um, you can go to menu, options, controls. See, I've gone a horizontal five, vertical seven. Um, I, I just I just prefer that personally myself. Um, but you, you can change it to six and six. I think the game starts on four, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, you, you can change it however you do it. Uh, another thing to do is button layout, flip them. The reason why flipping them is because if you look at your R2 button and L2 button, it's it's not an instant shot as soon as you push the button because you have to wait for, you, for, the, for it to bend right down to the bottom before it shoot or even halfway. Whereas if you use R1 and L1, it's instant. A second you, sh second you press it, it fires or on the other side it aims straight away there's no delay uh, on, on your buttons neither me I use tactical um, I, I always used to use tactical basically because I used to drop shot in uh, black ops 2 it's not as, as simple um, to drop shot anymore and sometimes I forget to drop shot uh, I do sometimes but then there's tar target assist seems to be a lot uh, a, a lot easier to lock on when someone drops to the floor and it's not as quick to drop to the floor as it was on Black Ops 2 neither. But when you drop to the floor, it seems to, the target assist seems to follow you down as well. Whereas before it just stay in front and then you have to try and lock on again. Um, which is why, if you'll see, not, not many people drop shot anymore on Black Ops 3. Uh, it's, it's very difficult to do that. Um, and I've decided to give up on that, to be honest. So I don't know why I've, I've left it as that and that. Maybe, because, I mean, it's probably best to use tactical anyway, because sometimes you might accidentally push in the button, which I, I have done before. I mean, people made me jump and I've accidentally gone to knife them. And now it's two knives as well. So you'll need to punch them twice to kill them, uh, which is not easy. So, um, now, if I just leave it as tactical, that way, if I push it in, all, that, all I'll ever do, like if someone makes me jump, all I'll ever do is crouch, and I'm still shooting, rather than knifing them, trying to knife them, and they're sitting there shooting me, I'm dead. So, I hope that helps uh, any of you. Um, if you want to know anything else, then just leave a comment in the section below, and please like and subscribe. Uh, I'm also going to do some other videos, um, on how to put camo on your showcase weapon um, and so stay tuned for that uh, that will be coming up shortly uh, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video